Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. This video is going to be a little bit tougher than all the rest of my videos. The reason being is because I feel like in today's world, um, there's a lot of reasons on why um, things shouldn't be a certain way. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be insensitive about certain things. And money is always a topic that a lot of people don't necessarily want to talk about, uh, mainly because they feel like they may not have a certain education on it or whatever. Everyone has a cell phone for the most part, and for the most part, everyone has internet access. Uh, but during that process of, well, just a daily process, having access to anything you want in the palm of your hands and what we decide to do with it. We look up the weather, we look up the next game that's about to start. Uh, I know I would like to watch a playoff game tonight, you know, so I'm gonna look to see what time it starts and things of that sort. Um, so we have access to it. That's part one. Some people don't even do part one and that's search. Okay. Number one reason uh, why I think a lot of people are struggling financially is because of the mindset, okay? Um, the mindset is a big deal uh, because it controls how you feel about certain things. It controls the language on how you feel about certain things. For example, uh, you, a lot of times people say things cost too much or it's expensive. It's not expensive. You just can't afford it. Uh, Bentleys and BMWs are not expensive. You just can't afford it. There's a difference. And when you switch how you look at certain things, and not trying to be a life coach or somebody positive or anything like that, those are people that are like certified in their field. This is to me basic, just basic like knowledge, basic logic, right? And if you have, if you think like that, if you're thinking negative, then it's going to come off like that. I try to be as positive as I can on certain things because that changes how you feel about certain things. I don't know. I, I believe it was Damon Dash that said, I'm, I'm not, I know a lot of people watched that, uh, that interview. If you have it, you should watch it when he was on The Breakfast Club. And he talked about if you have a cell phone, there's no reason why you should be broke. And again, that's the mindset. It's like, man, it makes so much sense on why he would say something like that because of his mindset. He's a, you know, of course, he's a business owner. You don't have to be a business owner per se. But at the same time, if you think like that, not, not necessarily as a business owner, but just being more positive and understanding, hey, listen, if I want money, I can have it. It's really simple. It's really simple. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that people don't go through things financially, but that's the same as, you know, it raining. And I'll get to that in a minute, okay? So number one is the mindset. So how do you change the mindset? Um, what did it for me is usually an event. Sometimes people either go through a life-changing event, um, you, know, like, you know, a death in the family or whatever, or a huge financial situation, or you read a book or you bump into somebody who just talks to you. For me, it was a book. And I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I mean, phenomenal book phenomenal okay don't worry I'll have a list of books that help me down in the description below um, but that particular book was it just opened my eyes up and um, to a different way of thinking and it's nothing wrong with being you know if you want to be you know an employee or small business owner big business owner or investor and that's what Robert Kiyosaki talked about that's the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad he talked about that but that led me to other books that led me to uh, the richest man in Babylon that led me to uh, financial peace the original financial peace which was Dave Ramsey's first book and how, just so you guys know well Calvin I'm I'm so broke I don't have I can't I don't have the funds to go buy those type of materials well you could use that as an excuse but last time I checked how much is a library card it's free so that's what I did when times were tough for me and my wife financially back in 2010 it was tough I had oh, just so you guys know I had my car repossessed on my 21st birthday imagine looking outside the window and the car was gone okay so that's how the end of 2009 ended and of course in you know, 2010 it was, it was difficult financially and I, I said myself okay Making money wasn't particularly my issue. It was money management. That was our problem. I know mainly for me. And um, so I went to the local library and I went to go get financial peace. I heard about it. I went to go get it. So, and of course, I read that entire book and it talked about how you should structure your bill payments, how you should create a debt snowball, how you could do a lot of different things that I had never 
concepts I had never heard of before. I don't blame my parents. I don't blame my school. I don't blame my friends or anything like that. These are you know, um, situations that I was going through. And as you get older, in most cases, you start wanting more. You start making a little bit more. Bills be start to you know, become more. So you have, um, you're exposed to different types of things, right? And so you can't really just blame yourself. You, but you do have to say, okay, this is where I want to start. And this is where I know I have to start. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, um, you don't have a budget. That's a number. That's a number two reason why you're probably broke as hell. Is because if you don't have a budget, then you don't even know where your money's going. You don't have a plan, or you may have a budget or a plan, but you're not following it, right? And that sucks because you have to start somewhere. You have to know what's coming in and what's going out. Okay. What I always like to tell people is that if you don't have a budget or a plan, um, you know, then you have you're kind of just winging it. Okay. So what helped me, Dave Ramsey had. Um, it, it's an auto excel budget sheet. Me and my wife started using that in 2010 and things just changed for us dramatically. It's nothing fancy. It was just a matter of looking at how much is coming in, looking at how much is going out and changing you know, what's going out and things of that sort, which I'll get to shortly. But if you're interested, if you want that, that auto excel budget sheet, uh, then I have it in the description below. Okay. It's free. It's no charge because I didn't make it. So I might as well give it to you guys, but it's awesome. Number three, is that you probably don't have any type of savings, okay? Here's the deal. And when we look at, um, let's say the weather, okay? You know if it's gonna be cold, if it's gonna be hot, if it's gonna be sunny, and if it's gonna be rainy. So, so what do we do if we know it's going, to, it's going to rain at one point, right? That's why we buy an umbrella. We know it's going to happen. The problem is, people, you know that something financially is going to happen. So you have to have a financial umbrella and that's through savings and you have to be consistent. You know, in The Richest Man in Babylon, he said a quote that I'll always remember until I die. And that is a part of all you earn is yours to keep. Just a part of all you earn is yours to keep. Not the whole thing. So if you, let's, let's say you get a check for, I don't know what you know, what everybody is paid. Let's say you get paid a thousand dollars every two weeks or whatever, right? And if that goes into your, and I'm talking net, which is by the way, what goes into your account, not gross, which is before taxes, net income, what goes into your account, whatever gets deposited, take 10%, 5%, hell, $20 and deposit that into your checking account. If you do that every single time you get paid, you'll have your financial umbrella. Okay. And that way you, cause you know, again, is something's going to happen. And even if let's say you saved up to, let's say $500 and something costs $700, clearly you don't have all the money, but at least you're not trying to borrow 700. Does this make sense? Okay. So you have to start somewhere. Number four, this is a reason that a lot of people don't like to talk about. And that is the fact that you are probably just not making enough money. Okay. And it's okay to say that you have to realize that you have to look at your bare minimum expenses. You know, of course, food, gas, insurance, um, having lights on in the house, having the water on in the house, like your bare essentials. Okay. I'm not talking about you know, getting your hair done. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just talking about like the bare essentials. Of course, if you got kids, that number goes up a, a lot more, but either way, the bare minimum, the things that you need. Okay. And then you look at what's coming in. And if that number is too close, and when I say too close, it depends on what you consider to be too close, right? So, but either way, if there's not a lot of money left over, then you're not making enough money, okay? Or that leads us to our next reason, number five, um, I just went over it, is that you're probably spending too much. And number six, some of you guys may not like it. It could be your circle of friends that have an influence on how you spend money. The reason why I say that is because if people are broke, and they're hanging around majority of other people in their circle and they're broke too, then guess what you have? You end up having broke conversations. Example, you start saying, hey, you know what? Um, I, my, my check is going to be low this week. Man, my check going to be low this week too. Man, what are we going to do? Man, we're going to sit around the house. That's what we call a broke circle of friends, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you can't have friends that, that are struggle because sometimes people do go through a struggle, right? But the problem is people don't set a, a, a date. They don't set a plan for how long they're going to struggle, okay? I'm not saying that things don't happen to people dramatically that changes their complete financial life. But again, 
You, how long are you going to do that? You can't complain about your financial situation and then know the episode of Empire last night. You can't complain about your financial situation and know every damn episode of your favorite television show. You can't complain and go home and Netflix and chill, Fire Stick and chill. You can't do that. You can't. You can't know every single video game that comes. I'm not saying that you can't study certain things if you're interested. I'm just saying if you're broke. It says in this small period of time, you just got to let some things go, okay? And sometimes people that you hang around the most could be could be influencing your mindset and you may have to spend a little less time with them, okay? Just for a short period of time until you get your mindset correct, right? Because that plays a role. I'll give an example. When I bought my second home, it just so happened that two of my other friends, they bought their second home as well. I have a lot of friends, but like the, the, the core circle of our friends, probably like six, seven, maybe no, some, some very small group of like close guys that I talk to, um, we're all moving together. They don't have to do it at the exact same time as you, but as long as you guys are growing together, say, hey, listen, I'm tired of being broke. Come along this journey with me so we can stop being broke together. That's a good person to have in your circle. But as you're starting to grow, sometimes you got to let people go and, and through, the, through the part of the journey. Sometimes people, oh, some, here's what I like to say. Some people are with you for a reason and some people are with you for a season. And as that season passes, they're just going to just fade away. Okay. And it's okay. That uh, it, It's perfectly fine. I'm not saying don't ever, don't talk to them, but you may have to lower the amount of time that you spend with them, especially if they're hurting your mindset. Okay. Because you can't complain about something. You can't be broke and then just get into bed and snuggling all up under the covers and all that at night. Because how, why? How, how can you do that? When again, you have a phone, you can Google how to make money. You can Google how to start a business. You can Google how to make money from YouTube. Okay. So I get paid when you to know when I make these videos, not a tremendous amount of money, but at the same time, these are conversations I have for my people that my, my friends that know me and family members that know me. I have these conversations all the time. I say, you know what? I might as well get paid for it. Even if it's a penny, right? Cause sometimes that's what it is. But at the same time, I don't do it for the money. I do it to try to help, to try to Help people think that there's, um, I'm sorry, help people think and show them different types of avenues and say, listen, this is what we need to start doing. This is what we need to start working on, okay? So just to go down the list again, number one, it could be your mindset, okay? Um, then number two, um, you don't have a budget or you don't have a plan. And if you do, you need to start following it, all right? Number three is that you don't have a, cons a savings or you're not consistent enough. You don't have that financial umbrella, okay? I do have a list here, that's why I'm looking back and forth. So number four, is that you don't make enough money and it's okay you have to acknowledge that you either got to get a second job start a business ask for a raise at your current job or you need to leave the company altogether okay that's those are your options uh, number five you're spending too much okay look at your debit card statement and look at how much you go out to eat it could be five dollars a day times five days a week uh, in, a, in a month you're talking a hundred dollars a month just going out to eat and so sometimes you may spend ten dollars a day right and out of five days that's two hundred dollars so you just got to look at the look at your debit card statement and look at where all your money is going and then number six you probably just change the circle of friends that you hang around okay a lot of times when i text my friends or call my friends like the ones that's in my close circle a lot of times they're, they're not able to get back to me so quickly because they're busy I hang with busy people. That's just how we live our lifestyle. But if you got, man, if you if you hang around people, they always free. Listen, but you can't be broken free at the same time. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful. I, I hate that I had to title it like that, but I hope that a lot of people can kind of pick up on certain things. I'm not a financial analyst, not a financial advisor, not a financial guru by any means, but these are things that kind of help me get out of my financial situation. Of course, the majority of my videos are credit as it's what I specialize in, but there are some clients where I have to actually turn them down for my services uh, just because credit's not their issue. They think credit's their issue, but credit's not their issue. It ends up being financially. And if they're not paying their bills, especially their credit obligations, then it won't matter how far we go up because you're going to come right back down down and you're going to blame me. And I don't like getting blamed for something that's actually your fault. Okay. So, but either way, hope this helps you guys. Any helpful books or links, I got them down at the bottom of the description. Hope this helps you all. Sub subscribe to the video. Uh, well, subscribe to the channel if you want If you want to be in tune with any other videos we have coming up. Um, you know, like this video if you like it. Share it if you think this will help somebody. But thank you guys so much. Have a great day.